manager of the Health Ministry's expanded program of immunization, Nurse Grace Sukchand, said Trinidad and Tobago is just slightly behind vaccination numbers and is looking to keep the figures above average. At the launch of Vaccination Week in the Americas at the Kuva District Health Facility, she urged all groups in the population to ensure they are up to date with their immunization. Even for measles, we've reached 94% coverage. We would like it to go to 95%. Our yellow fever coverage is at 93%. Again, we are working to keep it at 95 and beyond because then we are sure that there's less chances of a, a case coming into the country and then spreading it. She added that the slight fall off of children being inoculated during the pandemic is no longer a major issue, but warned against complacency. Even though we put measures in place so that these children would not have to wait, uh, we had block appointment systems, we had a lot of systems in place to protect them. We still had some parents who had challenges with transport and other ways of getting to the facility, and hence the reason for our drop in numbers. But we have since went on a campaign and each uh, RHAs were doing a month-to-month -month campaign basically to get these children back up fully vaccinated so our numbers have gone up. And she said the health ministry is also ensuring that the migrant population are also inoculated. We still need to be very vigilant. Remember we also have a large migrant population and we are reaching out to these migrant population and we are offering them vaccines because once we protect them we protect ourselves as well. So that's based on that we need to be vigilant. So once we see a dip, we get kind of we start putting things in place because we don't want the drop too low. Each regional health authority will also be hosting a range of activities in their own area for vaccination week, including pop-up booths at various locations. Sonolala, TTT News.